Hi, I'm Martina Bechtold and I'm a scientist at Bilman Laboratories in Switzerland. I will present you the poster today about the analytical and stability validation studies from our Flowcast kit, which is a basophil activation test, meaning it's an in vitro diagnostic test that you can uh, achieve safe and regulated results in the end. All these studies are important for the IBDR regulation, but not only that, it's also important to have comparable and reliable results so that we can compare between operators, between different devices, between different laboratories, but also over time. So for that purpose, we did, for example, the stability studies on the blood. So first, we want to have a look on the stability of the blood specimen. That's very important in terms of logistics. So we tested different types of bloods, and we saw for the EDTA blood, that's the most stable blood, and that we can keep it for 48 hours in the fridge before we perform the basophil activation test. What's new in our formulation is the wash buffer. We have a certain fixative in it, um, which enables that after performing the basophil activation test, you can store the cells into the fridge for up to 10 days. We stayed in the EVO five days because cell counts can reduce over time and we want to have stable results until the end. It's also important to test the robustness of our kit. So if different operators are using it, um, different pipettes are used, that we still have good results. And we can see the most critical part here in the protocol is the temperature. So it's very crucial to incubate and stimulate the cells um, at 37 degrees. Then we have some precision results. Precision means we compare different um, operators, we compare different instruments, different lots, and we saw that we have comparable results all over um, these different parameters. And it shows that our kit has reliable results which are robust over time between operators and uh, different machines. So thanks for your attention.